Now, believe it or not, Alpha Elite has more than the Amplify leggings to choose from. And that's me telling that to myself right now. We're getting a little too comfortable talking the Alpha Elite Amplify leggings. But what about the Halo V2s? If this color palette looks familiar to you, it's because these actually launched along with the new Amplify shorts. Remember those beautiful spring colors? I did a video on those if you need to check that out. But today we're talking something brand new to this channel and that is none other than the Halo V2s. And for the record, I have never tried the V1s. So if you came here for a comparison, I'm so sorry. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new, Welcome. Thank you for stopping by. Definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. We cover all things activewear on this channel, tons of unreleased try-on hauls, in-depth deep dive reviews like what we got going on today. For example, we have a pretty dope Lululemon haul coming up. Bliss Feel sneakers, anybody? Yeah, that one caught my eye and I'm gonna be reviewing them in the very near future. We also have the new Bowen T Accelerate review coming. Obviously, new unreleased Alpha Lee and Buff Bunny, Gymshark. And we even have a really fun video Video coming, I'll be actually reviewing new activewear from brands that I wore as a teenager. You know those mainstream brands like Aeropostel, Hollister even? I'm really eager to try them out. I can't wait. So when holding a legging in my hand, this is gonna sound nuts, okay, what I'm about to say. They feel like buttery soft. You feel the texture of the Moto design, but it's really so soft and silky feeling. However, when you put them on, I don't feel that. Where'd it go? It feels actually kind of rough and textured. <laughs> game are you playing, Hopoli? What game are you playing here? As I put them on, I thought they'd be super easy to get up. That was my first impression. Right until it hit my thigh and hips. Now, what the hell is this? My glutes are really tiny right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to shimmy as much as I can because we may need to size up to a medium in these. Everything you see in today's video is a size small, my true size, but I don't know about this, especially because as of late, if you've been watching my videos, I would consider myself a sh medium. So I think, I think a medium's calling my, my look. So I feel like a size medium's calling my name in these. My ass feels like it's flattened like a pancake in these. <laughs> this totally shrinks my glutes up, this band. Ooh, not the most flattering on the glutes. Not gonna lie, I've seen better Amplify. But yes, keep in mind, if you are a gal who's just like, oh my God, I love the Amplify so much. What about the Halo V2? No, they, they don't even compare. Like they're polar opposites, in fact. <laughs> but I know there's gotta be a gal out there that doesn't care about necessarily making the glutes pop, but more about functionality and the legging working for her. I'm feeling a ton of compression, again, around the thigh area, around the glutes here but ironically enough, not so much around the band. I feel like this is just mm, moderate compression, whereas like this feels super high compression. I do think it's because it's a little too snug on me. So yeah, keep that in mind. You're gonna get a lot of the compression around here and not as much tummy control. Look at, look at how much this is stretching and then look how little this stretches. You see the difference? I mean, that tells you something. So if your measurements are similar to mine, I definitely would suggest sizing up I do think it'd become a little less compressive here if you do. The thing I like about not having a super tight compressive band is it doesn't dig in and, and pinch that much right here because I, I really, I hate that so much. <laughs> right around here, it sits nice and comfortably. They seem really stretchy. You see that? It's so ironic because the stretch is there when holding it, but it's more on the stiff side when wearing it. So that is definitely my sign that I need to size up a bit. No front seam, but with how tight these are, I'm actually pleasantly surprised and happy as hell that there's no dreaded CT going on in this region. Love the ribbed moto design that they have going on down the sides here. I think that's what makes this legging unique. Believe it or not, the back of my leg, the cellulite that's usually there is very nicely concealed by that moto texture, but it's actually, it's the front of my legs where I'm seeing the the cellulite, ironic. I never see it through leggings here. I always see it here. So I feel like it's compressing the back of my leg and just protruding it in the front, if that makes sense. So not the most flattering around my thighs. In terms of sheerness, I mean, 
I'm seeing my undies right through the legging. Again, these are super light colors, so I kind of expected that. If it was anything like the Amplify shorts, yeah, you're gonna see through it. It's got a moderate stretch, nothing crazy. Like, I know I keep comparing to the Amplify, but when you wear the Amplify, it's super thin and lightweight. You can stretch up a storm. This, not so much. It's got a more of a durability thickness type of feel to it. For example, when I squat, I'm feeling it all right here around the quads. Not totally restrictive, like I can still squat, but it's just, I think if I sized up, it'd be a lot more comfortable. It's not feeling super breathable for me either. Like I almost feel like my legs wanna start sweating just a bit. I definitely wouldn't suggest wearing these if you're doing any hit or cardio where you're gonna sweat a lot. I do think it's gonna retain a bit of heat. But with that being said, what I would wear this for Weight training, just basic weight training, it would be good because you'd still do have some decent compression here. I definitely would wear these walking outside. Like me and Bay, we love to do our daily steps. We've been taking walks, doing laps around our little apartment complex, and this would be really perfect for that. I don't have to worry about squatting and the sheerness. Breaking out the secret sweat test. Here we go. Front row center. Oh, now it's damp, now it's saturated. A very minimal amount of sweat is showing through, but how fast will it wick away? Let's find out. Bay's gonna help me get some ass sweat going. Feels good. <laughs> when I get up from a machine, this is, this is what sweats. I don't sweat around here, I sweat right here. Oh God, what is that? We're going on six minutes and I'm still seeing a pretty heavy sweat stain. Okay, so keep that in mind. If you're a heavy sweater, you're gonna see sweat, especially through these light colors. So maybe grab the black color. Also keep in mind, like this band is very straightforward. It's very squared off. Whereas if you remember the Amplify, it's three tiered, got that little hourglass, help your shape out a little bit. This is very straightforward, all right? There's nothing really too fancy about this legging. I think it's just more for functionality purpose rather than enhancing the glutes and making the curves really pop. So I do think the Amplify have a time and a place, so do these. If it came down to the two, Amplify, Halo V2. The Amplify, choosing that for the gym every single time. I want my glutes to pop, I wanna look good, I wanna feel confident, I just love it. The Halo V2s, I would absolutely be picking over the Amplify if I'm going for lengthy walks, athleisure, going out and just trekking it. This with the compression, with the sturdiness, I just feel like these are more durable than the Amplify that are super thin like stockings. So, I mean, you gotta pick what would work for your lifestyle and what you're gonna be using them for. That's how I'm gonna sum it up, all right? Halo V2s are definitely more athleisure going for walks. The amplifier are my go-to gym legging. Look, I wasn't anticipating on doing so much comparison between this legging and the Amplify, but it's kind of hard not to, since that's my favorite Alphalete legging, and I'm sure probably yours too. So I think it's very important to always compare to that legging so you know how close do they get to the gold standard? That's the question. And if you find this video helpful, or any of my Alphalete videos for that matter, please consider using code GATA at checkout. It lets Alphalete know that I sent you, helps the relationship with the brand to keep videos like this coming and unreleased hauls. Thank you so much if you do choose to support me and use my code. Again, everything I talked about today was just my own opinion, how it fit me, my preferences in activewear. I hope this video helped you out. Thank you so much for watching. Drop a comment what your thoughts are about the Halo V2 line. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Would you try it and give it a go or are you gonna pass? Thank you guys so much. Definitely don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We have a ton of very fun videos coming your way. Lots more giveaways as well, so you don't wanna miss out. I love you guys so much and I'll catch you in my next video.